hey guys let's talk about the struggles of a christian lady yeah um it's really interesting that you know we probably just when we gave our life to christ we thought it was all going to be rosy sweet without thinking that there would be struggles and it's um yeah it is what it is there are struggles that christian ladies face and i'll be talking based on experience one major struggle for me was the area of relationship um it's not just romantic relationship now it's but friendship and romantic relationship and in general it's social connection with people you know you begin to see that there are people that will have different values and different lifestyle from yours and this can be really challenging you begin to see that you would be facing pressure to conform to behaviors or opinion that contradicts your belief and sometimes even in the area of spiritual matters and now let's even move to the struggles that we face when we are dating now this is in the context of romantic relationship as a christian lady you are trying to find a partner that you know she has the same value and fits with you and in today's society where it can be really really hard you are trying to stay away from premarital sex premarital sex and it's not looking like it's as easy as you know it seems yeah the bible says we should flee but in today's society it can be really hard so there can be that pressure to want to engage in premarital sex or you know the trending conversation going on on x um cohabitation which conflicts with you know traditional christian teaching on purity and marriage now let's talk about another struggle this for me is media and entertainment. Oh my God, it's so hard. It's so hard to decide what media to consume, what TV show to watch, what music to listen to, what book to read. You know, when there is so much going on, so much going on that contradicts the Christian value. And sometimes, you know, you try to say, okay, I want to stay away from, you know, um, a kind of lyrics. But at the same time, the lyrics is not as bad. So now we're trying to decide, it's secular, should I stay here? It's a love song. Should I stay here? Does it contradict my traditional Christian value? Am I okay to listen to this? Am I okay to watch this show? Can I read this book? What can I consume on social media? How can I manage my online presence to reflect my faith while navigating the sometimes negative and superficial aspect of this platform? How can I promote you know, the Christian values on this platform. I think the biggest struggle for me is prayer pressure. And I say this because I know we're like, oh, you should not feel pressured by friends and oh, you should get Christian friends. But what happens when you are invited by probably a neighbor to a social event or a gathering, not anything like club or anything, just a social event, a birthday party or something, and you probably go there and you start feeling um judged or sometimes misunderstood because you don't share the same value with the person that invited you. You just share the same views on modesty. And sometimes they may even like encourage you to loosen up or wear something more trending, something more revealing. Try to look good so you don't look old, right? And without knowing we begin to like question ourselves whether we are being too conservative it's just a whole lot of struggle around that area and i feel like this is something that we're not giving a manual to i feel like a manual before we came into christianity like this is what you will face this is how it will be like right yeah now i've gotten to the age where i begin to not only think about myself but I begin to think about my own children and this is one of the place I think a Christian lady struggle with. Imagine thinking of how you raise your children in a world where they are exposed to many conflicting messages. And you begin to think about, you know, what kind of education you want them to have. Like, what school should I send them to? You know, should I send them to public school? Should I send them to Christian school? Should I homeschool them so I can monitor them and guide their media consumption and friendship? What can I do to safeguard my kids from this world? Now, on modesty, which is like another big struggle of a Christian lady, modesty and purity, in fact, like it's a very huge one. 
imagine facing societal pressure regarding you know appearance and behavior and finding a balance between expressing individuality and adhering to church teaching on modesty and purity having to really understand that you know you need to be modest at the same time you need to be pure but there is this pressure from society to say that the way you dress is not even enough you look old you don't look good you look kind of like SUish, sisterish. <laughs> How then do you balance this with your church teaching? I want to look good. At the same time, I want to be modest. And I don't want society to come at me to say I am not dressing well or this kind of dressing does not really suit me. Uh I'm being forming earlier than thou. There's just a whole lot of struggle around it. I remember a lady coming out to say, oh, okay, this is modesty and what modesty looks like to me. And then she was dragged on Twitter, which we know as X now. And it's just interesting that you're, you're trying to find a balance between modesty. You're trying to explain to people that puberty involves a whole lot of things, not just, you know, not just having the intimate act of sex, but being pure also in your heart. And even like, just in a bit from sexual activities why outside of marriage and then you're being dragged for it for being earlier than thou it's just a whole lot of struggle and i'll just move on to another struggle that christian lady faced which is in the area of marriage and singleness oh my god having to cope with society and sometimes church pressure to marry yeah it's sad that sometimes we face us from church and you um as a lady you're trying to find contentment and purpose in singleness if marriage is not part of your current life well how do you explain that to the society how do society how do you tell society that i'm okay being single and i'm still going to you know find a partner but i'm not ready yet how do you speak to society to let them know that i'm actually serious about my life and i know i'm going to get married but can you take that pressure off me can i just be content in my purpose for now can i take my time to find the person that god has for me can you give me space to breathe haven't you done enough and sometimes, even in that contentment, you know within yourself that despite enjoying my single life and the opportunity that it affords me, there is still that struggle sometimes among, like, we Christian ladies, struggles with loneliness. We are scared that we may miss out on the companionship and family life that many of our friends enjoy. We are worried that I be open, not doing too much. We open, not being too spiritual. We open, not chasing that brother away. We hope that we're doing everything right. We hope that we're praying correctly. We we are we are doing things as it ought to be done. Trying to work hard to find contentment and purpose in that current situation, and still trying to get fulfillment through like your career hobbies and volunteer work if there's any you do outside um of your nine to five or your shift pattern whatever pattern you do but there is still that thing at the back of your mind when it comes to you know your birthday and you're like god i hope i'm not missing out like i hope that there is someone out there for me Right, and I hope that despite the fact that I am actually enjoying my single life, I hope I'm not going to stay being lonely for the rest of my life. Do you get like that struggle is also there? That struggle is there. Now, let's talk about one of the big struggles that Christian ladies face. I don't want to say biggest, but it's really like a big deal. It is maintaining faith and trust in God during difficult times. It can be so hard sometimes, especially when it comes to, you know, personal loss, probably also when it comes to sickness or financial hardship, or when it comes to probably um, trusting God for a major breakthrough, for a job, for, you know, um, 
promotion for babies um for husband or for just money right and if it's looking like it's not coming as fast as we want it to come how can we see reality in front of us see the problem in front of us and choose not to see it and still hold on to our faith how can we see that something is wrong but deny the fact that it's wrong because we don't want to accept that we want to live by faith right we want to call those things that are not as though they are right and there is that struggle especially when you can see the things the problem right in front of you but you choose not to see it there is that struggle we face now for the last struggle of a christian lady this for me would be evangelism and witnessing like how can we find effective way to share our faith in this world where you know it can be really indifferent or hostile to christianity how can i share the good news and be um effective about it be authentic about it in such a way that they see me and they see christ through me in such a way that my life reflects christ how do i explain to them without being judged as one way is so spiritual one way is not focusing on other things in life how do you make people see as a christian lady that they need to accept jesus christ as their lord and savior a savior who came to die for their sins it's sins of the world basically and believing him is what is going to give that everlasting life that zoe life whether you are finding your way through these challenges or supporting someone who is, let's continue to uplift and encourage each other. Remember, our world is found in God's love and purpose for our life, not in societal expectations or pressures. And also, you need to remember that you are not alone, that people out there are able to support you, able to uplift you, able to encourage you. The Bible says we should encourage one another. Now I've come to the end of today's video. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need encouragement. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet done that. And feel free to leave your thoughts or share your experiences in the comments section below. And yes, just before I end this video, what do you think about my air?